in previous videos on triangle congruence, we talk about how side-side angle cannot be used to establish triangle congruence. What I'll do in this video is I'll show you an exception, and the exception is when we are dealing with right triangles, in particular, when this angle is a right angle. So this is a 90 degree angle, in which case this first side is going to be the hypotenuse, and the second side is going to be a leg. Is going to be a leg, and that's why you'll sometimes see this, instead of, called it, you know, instead of calling it SSA for the special case of a right triangle, you'll sometimes call this, see this as hypotenuse leg congruence. Let me do some of the same colors so I'm consistent. So hypotenuse, hypotenuse leg congruence. And if you're dealing If someone's saying there's a hypotenuse of that triangle, then that, that triangle by definition is going to be a right triangle. You can only have a hypotenuse in a right triangle. And to get an intuition for why two triangles are going to be congruent if their hypotenuse, if each of their hypotenuses have the same length, is it hypotenu hy hypotenuse, hypotenuses? If, if they have the same length and then the, the leg has the same length, we can look at these two right over here. So we are going to assume that this hypotenuse that this hypotenuse has the same length as that hypotenuse. Let's say they're both of length c. We can assume that this leg here has the same length. This leg here has the same length as that leg. We could call that length a. And you can see that the only way to draw the next side, remember there's two constraints now here. We have to connect it to this point right over here as we're dealing with a triangle. So we're only going to have three sides. And it's a right triangle, so it has to be, the, the next side I draw has to be perpendicular. So the only way to draw that, the only way to draw that is just like that. And to feel good that, I guess more analytically, that this side, this green side is congruent to this side, we could just use the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem would tell us that this green side right over here is going to be the square root of the hypotenuse squared, c squared, c squared minus a squared minus the square of the other leg. And this one is also going to be the square root of c squared. Actually, let me just draw an arrow. This is going to be true for that. And it's going to be true, and it's going to be true from that. That comes straight out of the Pythagorean theorem. So from that, we know that the third leg, or the third side, that they, those two corresponding sides have to be congruent. And so that's where we get the hypotenuse leg congruence from, which is really just a special case of SSA, which we've said in the past, you cannot apply generally to establish triangle congruence.